All right, welcome everyone. This is Dr. Clark, the Center for Weight Loss Success. And today in Losing Weight USA, we're going to talk about telomeres or telomeres. Telomeres are part of the, the genetic makeup, they're part of our um, DNA. And subsequently, can they be a mirror of kind of overall health? So we'll get into that and kind of what they are, what can we do about them, can we help them along? All right, welcome to Losing Weight USA, real-time answers to your weight loss questions, some of the latest research, and some of the latest updates. Gives you direct access not only to me, but you should be receiving the health tips and recipes via the membership portal, and I do encourage you to get into the membership portal. Um, each one of these webinars will last about 30 minutes or so. If you have questions, type them in into the chat box as we go along. We'll get to them at the end. If you think of things once we're all done, just give us a yell here at the Center for Weight Loss Success. The email is success at cfwls.com. Phone number 757-873-1880. All right, we are talking about telomeres. So aging and health, it's aging and health is kind of a progressive loss of metabolic and physiologic functions over a period of time. And wouldn't it be nice to really slow this normal process down so that we age slower? That would be nice. So telomere science, telomere science can help us do just that. All right, so what are telomeres? Telomeres are basically the tips of the chromosomes. Um, they were initially discovered in the 1970s, but the function of them basically was just, it was unknown. But then as things got studied, they started figuring out more and more. The Nobel Prize for Medicine in 2009 was given to three scientists who have spent their careers studying telomeres. And what they found was that telomeres basically tend to protect the rest of the chromosomal DNA. So telomeres, basically what they do, the ends of these little DNA, and what they form is protected caps on the, kind of, the chromosome itself. So kind of all these chromosomes in our cell, these, these little caps on the very ends of them. You can think of them almost like the end of a shoelace. Where they have those little plastic ends on it that kind of keeps everything nice and it keeps it from unraveling. Whereas, gee, once you lose that little plastic cap on there, things start to unravel, don't quite look the way, way they used to. And it's much easier then for things to get frayed and break down. So it's kind of their little protective caps on the ends of these uh, chromosomes. So the function then is to protect your DNA. You know, these chromosome caps are to protect your DNA and they prevent the DNA from getting erosions to them. They prevent them from recombining to make uh, kind of abnormal proteins. Um, they prevent the DNA from fusing with other DNA particles. And a big part of what this then does is it maintains the mitochondria. And the mitochondria are, are little, what I'll call the little furnaces they are the energy producers in the cell itself and so all our cells has these mitochondria and the genetic then is part of the part of the dna and we often say gee it's part of our dna and our dna is the true genetics that we have in every single cell now a normal thing for ha to happen for these telomeres is that they'll slow they'll shorten with age so we tend to lose these little caps on the dna and so subsequently then on the chromosomes the caps get shorter and shorter and shorter and potentially they can get uh, as they get shorter is that they're more likely to get damage to them that's what we're trying to prevent is damage. So how important are these telomeres? And how important are they? And so this is kind of from the, uh, some quotes from those uh, Nobel laureates that basically got uh, um, spent their career studying these. So the telomere, and first one was from Elizabeth Blackburn, who's the, one of the Nobel laureates, telomere shortness is associated with about all the major diseases of aging, cardiovascular disease, death from cardiovascular disease, 
diabetes mellitus, insulin resistance, dementia, arthritis, all these kind of things that occur as we get older. But the list tends to go on and on, and the correlation is always the same. Shorter telomere is associated with more disease. So a direct relationship. Relationship doesn't necessarily mean a causation, but still a direct relationship. Dr. Rodrigo Caledo in 2009 noted that telomere dysfunction seems to underlie the development of a range of genetic, degenerative, and aging diseases, as well as cancer. And, and you kind of look at how much this is being studied. Back in 2012, there were over 13,000 abstracts related to telomere. So this is becoming more and more studied further and further, more and more, and looking at how important these telomeres actually are to protecting our cells and then uh, protecting kind of against aging diseases or diseases of aging. So the bottom line to this is the important part of the telomeres is the longer your telomeres, the more time you apt to have left. And one of the things with that is telomeres can actually be measured. Okay. So what do we find then as they measure these telomeres? What do they find? They do find some direct associations that shorter telomeres, ones that have kind of worn down there, they're associated with multiple different things. And they typically have things that do with disease processes. So shorter telomere length are associated with stress, depression, poor sleep quality, low physical activity, smoking, excess alcohol, low vegetable intake. It's associated with traffic pollution, diabetes, obesity, cancers, osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, COPD, which is a lung disease, Alzheimer's disease, which is dementia, Parkinson's disease, which are neurodegenerative changes. So all of these have, are associated with shorter telomeres. So the question then is, how do we keep long telomeres? And just like the short association, a short telomere association, well, they've also noticed that long telomere associations are associated positively with longer quality of life, younger age, increased exercise, normal weight, smaller waist, fiber intake, use of bioidentical hormones, use of essential fatty acids, which are anti-inflammatory, uh, taking multivitamins, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin C, and resveratrol, which is an uh, antioxidant, which we often talk about because it's found in wine. So longer telomeres are associated with kind of some of these healthier uh, habits, if you want to call it that. And again, association doesn't mean it's causation. But no matter what, shorter uh, telomeres are associated with diseases of aging. Longer telomeres seem to be associated with degree, uh, call it, you know, degrees of health. And so the more healthy we tend to be, the more healthy lifestyle we tend to have, we tend to have longer telomeres. Now, wouldn't it be nice then if we could actually do something about these telomeres? Say you have, gee, I have shorter telomeres. Can I actually make them longer? And the bottom line is, yes, you can. You can improve telomere length by doing some of these things that cause telomere problems. So by, by changing those habits, rather. So if we're removing chronic stress, stopping smoking, increasing exercise, eating a low glycemic diet, taking omega-3 fatty acids, which are some of the essential fatty acids, and anti-inflammatory. And can we also do this by increasing an enzyme called telomerase? And so telomerase is an enzyme that helps protect the telomeres. 
So what is telomerase? Telomerase is a natural enzyme that helps extend, it helps actually repair these telomeres. And when it's activated, if we can activate this telomerase, telomerase again, it's an enzyme. Okay, it's, and when it's activated, it adds DNA bases to the ends of the chromosomes. So if these ends of the chromosomes were getting frayed, okay, well, they can actually repair them. So it adds some of these DNA bases to the ends of the uh, um, ends of the chromosomes, and then allows these cells to live longer, and they appear more youthful. They appear younger, even though they may be older cells. And telomerase tends to preferentially extend the short telomeres. So if you had certain areas that are shorter telomeres, it's going to work preferentially on those shorter telomeres. So what can it actually do then? Okay, can telomerase, can that enzyme, if we can improve that thing, make that enzyme, give you that enzyme, can telomerase improve health and slow aging? Now, this is going to be a really difficult human study because humans age obviously over many 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 decades okay? but they've done it in animals so in animals specifically rodents blocking telomerase so gee telomerase won't work it leads to a short lifespan on the other hand activating telomerase leads to longer lifespans and they found that in animal models it can even reverse some degenerative changes so some disease processes that were occurring, they've actually been able to reverse some of these. And they can, the animals then can subsequently live longer. So telomerase, bottom line, it is good. It's a good thing. And so yes, telomerase itself can add length to those shortened telomeres on your genes. So on the chromosomes there. And longer telomeres can then potentially add to quality of life. So the real question then as individuals, can we actually activate telomerase to improve our own telomeres? Okay. And wouldn't that be nice? And the bottom line is maybe. Okay. Bottom line is yes, it can happen. Um, there is some telomerase telomerase activator. So, so there is some evidence that adding a compound is from a Chinese herb, astrologus, and results in extending telomere length. And so this telomerase activator can actually increase the telomeres. Now at this time, we can't say absolutely that then it actually increases health or increases time increases the time span that we will stay alive but that's the theoretical concept is that if we can utilize something that activates this telomerase is that we could actually improve a lot of disease processes that occur with aging and subsequently can we then live healthier longer and so they've taken this and it's an herbal thing, it's astrologous, and they use this as a working ingredient in other, in some things that can help with the telomerase activator. So this telomerase activator can be found in health food stores. You can go to Amazon, actually buy this stuff. It's not inexpensive. It's like, no, it actually is fairly expensive. Um, you just have to be a little careful of what you're buying it from and get, you know, let the buyer beware. And the reason I say that, I recall when we started, we talked about Hoodia, you know, back when um, there's more Hoodia being sold than there actually is, you know, plants in the world. So therefore, a lot of these things may not actually have the Hoodia in it. Well, this is a similar thing, too, is that there isn't that much available at this time. Um, so a lot of the health products okay that are out there may or may not have much of this ta65 in it ta telomerase activator 65 i'm not sure where the 65 came from but anyway all right so kind of in summary then these telomeres are very important this kind of a 
whimsical dis dis discussion about these things about improving our health. But they are very, we know they're very important and they can protect us from the diseases of aging. The issue then is, can we actually improve the telomerase activity? Can it be done with supplements or can it be done with healthy living? The bottom line is we'd all like to have long telomeres because it tends to be a window into how long we may live without going through all these diseases of aging. So leading a healthy lifestyle is probably a good thing. Managing stress, exercising, low glycemic diet, taking our multivitamins, essential fatty acids, potentially extra vitamin C, D, and E, bioidentical hormone replacement therapy, can that actually help, and as well as potentially other antioxidants. And potentially adding some of this telomerase activator. And you can find it, if you were to search online, you can find it, it's not cheap. It's fairly expensive, but also healthy living helps do this as well. No big surprise. And again, probably the biggest thing about that, we have to realize that just because we say these things are associated, you know, disease processes are associated with short telomeres, long telomeres are associated with um, kind of these healthy living type of things, um, less disease processes. Association doesn't mean causation. And so subsequently we have to be a little careful with that, but they're certainly running parallel to each other. So if we can live healthier, potentially we can protect these telomeres telomeres and potentially our own telomerase activator will be keeping our telomeres nice and healthy. That's the dream. All right. So it's a little short whimsical discussion today. If there are questions about, I don't see any questions sitting out there, but if there are questions about this, it's kind of uh, something that's out there. It's being talked about and it is something that potentially can be a great thing in the long term. We don't know enough about it really to say, hey, is there more than just associations with this or is there kind of some cause and effect? And if we can actually activate these, the telomeres to repair and fix themselves, that potentially we could live longer and live healthier. All right. If you have questions, encourage you to pick up the phone, stop by, send an email, whatever. Stop by, get your body comp done. Um, log into the membership site. You'll be receiving not only the uh, weekly weight loss tips, weekly recipes, but all the other information that's in there. Tune in each Tuesday, 1215, for the next webinar. Watch your email for the invite and link. And remember, it's your life. Make it a healthy one. Have a good day, everyone. Take care.